For many local veterans, unique mental and physical injuries, they've truly come to light during prolonged periods of social distancing associated with the COVID pandemic. Yes, yeah, so one group is working to change that by staying motivated and healthy through the adaptive sport of wheelchair rugby and invited News for Jacks to a learning session. It's physical and noisy and builds upper body and core strength. Learning how to play wheelchair rugby was a little intimidating at first for this veteran who lives in Cape Canaveral. I was a little apprehensive, but now I can't wait to get back out in the court. <laughs> the, the personal interaction, as you can see, that's going on behind me is it, great. You know, you actually have some outlet to, to do some stuff. It's the first clinic of its kind. The organization Wounded Warrior Project has put on in Florida in conjunction with Brooks Rehab at their YMCA location in Jacksonville. So introducing them to a sport and showing them that no matter what injury they have, they can still participate and still play in something. For the nine injured veterans from all over the state who've never played the sport, it's fulfilling the need for exercise and mental motivation. It's the first real activity veteran Victor Barabi has gotten out to participate in since the start of the coronavirus pandemic. For a while, you're almost forced to stay home and not get out and, and make these connections. And now this has given us that chance to do it again. Wounded Warrior Project offers a hybrid model of both virtual and in-person programs to help meet the psychological and physical needs of injured veterans. Yeah, they seem to be oh, enjoying it, right? Hey, we're having a First blast. Time and they're going after and it. And making so many new friends. Yeah, that's great.